Well, in this lecture, I am going to present a lecture on T test, J test, F test, Sky Square test. And an overall understanding you can have in this lecture. Okay, so at first, the T test. What is the T test? Look, this is the parametric test. Under the parametric test, there is T test, Z test, and F test. At first, the T test. The T test tells you how significant the difference between groups are. It lets you, lets you know if those differences, the measures in means could have happened by chance, could have happened by chance. So, when the sample size, when the sample size is small, that is n less than equal to 30, you should use the t test. The degrees of freedom is here n minus 1. The test is used for the test, for test of significance of regression coefficient in regression model. Correlation coefficient in population is zero. T-test is introduced by William Cossett in 1980. And with the degrees of freedom, if the degrees of freedom is high, then the T-distribution will be converted into standard normal distribution. Okay. And this is the this is the formula for the test. And this is the sample mean, and this is the population mean, and this is the standard deviation, and this is the root of the of number of observations. Okay. So this is T test. Now Jet test. As you know, jet test was given by fish. Okay. If population coefficient correlation is not zero, then jet test is used. As I have mentioned that in t test, the population coefficient correlation is zero, but in jet test it is not. In jet test, sample size is large, that is n is greater than 30. But in t test, n is less than 30. Jet test is used to determine if two population mean are different when population variance is known. When population variance is known. And at, in that situation, if you like to determine if the two population means are different or not, jet test is used. Jet test is based on standard normal distribution. And it is also called the large sample test. So this is the jet test. And this is the calculating formula, jet test equal to x, but this is the mean of the sample. And mean of the population, standard deviation, and root of the number of observations. Now, F test. What is the F test? And F test is also called the variance ratio test. F test is introduced by Fisher also, you know. F test is used to the two independent estimation of population variance. Two, sample, two samples have same variance in F test. Okay, two samples 
have the same variance. And F test is a small sample test. And this is the formula for calculating the F value, larger sample variance and smaller sample variance. That is sigma one square divided by the sigma two square. So this is the variance ratio test. When you will use the F test, F test is used by comparing the ratio of the two variance. When you like to compare the two variance of the two samples, then you have to use the F test. It is also, you should also remember that the sample, two samples should be independent. And you know that a value can never be negative because it is a ratio. And the, in the numerator, the larger sample variance is there. Testing of overall significance of regression can be done by the F test. Okay. F test can be used for the overall significance of the regression model. Now, the non parametric test, that is the chi square test. Non parametric test is the chi square test. What is the chi square test? It is very important test, you know. And you have to, to have a clear idea over this. What is the chi, chi square test? And this is the this is the PDF of that is the probability density function of the chi square distribution with k degrees of freedom. Okay, with k degrees of freedom, this is the formula. And this is the gamma. This is the gamma function. This is the gamma function. And you should remember that the mean of the chi square is the k that is the num that is the that is that is here the with degrees of freedom k is the degrees of freedom and variance is 2k variance is 2k okay you should remember this and for chi square test this test actually introduced by the carl pearson carl pearson introduced this test Chi square test is a sampling analysis for testing significance of population variance. Chi square is non parametric, as I have mentioned that, and its value lies between zero and one. When the sample size is large, that is, n is greater than 50, you can use the chi square test. And also here, the samples are independent. Samples should be independent. When, look, this is the normal distribution curve. This is the normal distribution curve. Suppose the normal distribution curve, and if, if, you, if you have a square of the values of the normal distribution, then you can have the chi square distribution with one degree of freedom. Okay, this is the sky square distribution with one degree of freedom. If, for example, Z1, Z2, and dot, 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 ZK, up to ZK, are independent standard normal random variables, okay, then Z1 square, plus j2 square plus j3 square plus dot 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 jk square has chi square distribution with k degrees of freedom with k degrees of freedom okay and with the degrees of freedom there is a change in the shape of the star of the sky square and it can be shown in my in this lake in this slide. Look, two sky square distributions. 
The red one is the sky square distribution, but one degree of freedom. And blue is the sky square distribution. It has two, two, two degrees of freedom. Okay, two degrees of freedom. And in this way, the shapes actually changes with the degrees of freedom. And if you consider the another slide, three sky square distribution, look. This is the sky square distribution, but it has three degrees of freedom. And when the number of degrees of freedom increases, suppose number of deg degrees of freedom is six, then the sky square distribution looks like this, the red one. And if the degrees of freedom is 12, this much more larger than the degrees of freedom six, then it looks like the normal distribution. It, when the degrees of freedom is less, it is less skewed, more skewed, it is more skewed. And as the degrees of freedom increases, its skewness reduces. Its skewness reduces. Okay. So as the here the degrees of freedom is three, the mean of the sky square, sky square mean of the mean of the sky square is three of it. And variance is here. Six because two k because variance is two k and mean is k k is the degrees of freedom and here degrees of freedom is three and look at this here degrees of freedom six that is k is six and mean is six here and variance is two multiplied with six that is that is twelve that is twelve. Now, if you consider this, the degrees of freedom 12, the chi-square distribution, the chi-square distribution, its mean is 12 because, because k is 12 and its variance is 2 multiplied with 12, that is the 24. Okay. So this is the this is all about the p test. J test, F test, and chi square test. In this lecture, I try to clarify in simple way, in simple way, the parametric test and non-parametric test. And you can find some calculations in Excel of this chi square test, P test, F test in my YouTube lectures. You can find it or you can go to the description box. Okay, thank you. Thank you for enjoying this lecture.